Everyone fights, no one quits. We go live to Planet Balaka. I've done like zero research into this game, so I have no idea what's about to happen. What the? What? What? Q wants an assault and secure up brimstone one. We get in, secure I'm the region, god of hell fire. Order. <laughs> Let's hit him hard. Let's show these motherfuckers how it's done. Holy shit, that's a big ass bug. Holy shit. Jesus Christ. Oh, it's a lot. Love you. I'm so fucking scared right now. Bro, this is pretty easy mode. Here. It's fucking hamburger hill for them. <laughs> Stupid assholes. Warning. Arachnid threat levels have increased. Ooh. That is a big ass fucking bug, dude. Holy shit. The fuck is that thing? Dude, I don't wanna fucking know! Move it to the LZ, troopers! Hustle up! Oh, no! Come on, boys! Holy shit! Oh my god! <laughs> Oh! Come on, boys, come get me! Legend. You're welcome. Can we get that guy? We cannot get that guy right in the boat. Right in the boat! Pull back! Get the boat! Get the boat! Find your assigned seat and we're returning to the Gurren now. We're leaving in 30 seconds. Good job, boys. The base is under attack. Shit! Boys, this is all going to shit real quick. Ah! Ah! Fuck! Reload, reload. Southeast is done. North side, north side, north side. Fucking Jesus! Here we go again. Ratings look good so far. Oh my God, Will! What the hell happened to you? How 
fucking snoozes over the fucking snoozes over the goddamn gate. He's got a brain bug. Kill him. Tiger bug broke the northwest wall. Tiger bug broke the northwest wall. Big bug southeast wall. We got some bugs inside on the southeast side. Oh boy, I sure hope I don't get left behind. Oh boy, I sure hope I uh, can make it home to marry my high school sweetheart and open a baker. The line of training and move as a group, come on! We got a move! Trace, I'm sorry, you're gone. Oh, fuck. All right. I'm going for him. Get up, man. Get up. He ain't dead yet. The covering. Get him up. Come on, let's go. He's brain dead. Go. He's dead. Let's leave him. Let's go, people. Mia, come on. Let's go. Run. Move to the back. Move, move to the back of the ships. Get away yeah, from the boys. Doors. There we go. I'm only one dude died. I'm gonna go marry his high school sweetheart. That was the worst time to uh, crash. So after playing a bit of Starship Troopers Extermination, I can say that this game is pretty fucking rad. If you've ever wanted to feel like one of the grunts in Starship Troopers, well, I reckon this pretty much nails it. Like, as a pretty big fan of the movie, this is pretty cool to see. If you like games like Killing Floor, this will probably be up your alley. Would I recommend this game? Well, this game kind of puts the early in early access, and at the moment there isn't really that much content in the game. Um, for now there are two game modes with a third planned, I'm not sure how far away that would be, and there's three difficulty levels to play each mode at. There's slight variance in each individual game where objectives are mixed, as even though the objectives are randomised, there's not much variety to them. That being said, while the game may feel bare bones at times, the bones for a great game are here. And if the team at Offworld Industries keeps that, I reckon they might have a... They'll have a pretty big hit here. I played a little bit of each class, and I mostly get gravitated towards Vent's class. It was probably the easiest to use with the um, latency that I had, and I'll get to that in a moment. And the loadout system is pretty decent. It feels pretty balanced from what I played. It's standard progression. You unlock more perks and more ways to customise your loadout as you go. I do like that there were a lot of trade-offs, like as the medic you can have uh, med syringes and you can sort med syringes out for giving people ammo, but then after that you won't be able to heal people. It's standard trade-off loadout management and choices matter. And there's no, there's probably not going to be one single this is OP build out there for everyone. When I played the game I mostly played on medium difficulty. I played one game of the lowest and it was way too easy, but it was it's probably just there to learn the game on. Medium difficulty is very well tuned and I think until some kind of meta is in place that's probably the one to play on. Of the two game modes, Assault and Secure is probably the most fun to play. Assault and Secure is a very slow start and it eventually builds up to a huge last defense mission and it gets pretty hectic and honestly it's a lot of fun. <laughs> it's probably the most fun to play. The few times I tried the other game mode, Ark, um, there's no team communication and no objectives were really being done. I might chalk that up to the game being very new and everyone just kind of trying it out. But for now I'd probably only recommend playing this game mode with a pre-made squad, so that way you can get objectives done and people will actually communicate with each other. Like I said, this will probably change as the game goes along and more people gravitate towards the modes they want to play and everything's kind of figured out. The best times that I had were while playing the game when there was a lot of communication on the team. People just like, you know, whether it was like team-based tactics or just a bunch of people just like having fun, um, as you can see in the gameplay. I think that's when the game really shines the most. And saying that, I think the future of this game will live or die by the community that will eventually form around it. When there was no communication, the game was very bland. So now at the moment, the only way to play the game is via matchmaking. The developer stated that there will be no community hosted servers or server browser. I think this is a pretty big mistake, especially in a PvE game such as this. 
There are a few reasons that I think this. Um, the first applies to people who are out of main regions like myself in OCE. There are no Australian servers currently, so that means I'm stuck at playing on 200 plus ping in any server that I join. And because the game is PvE, the game mostly plays all right, which is kind of a surprise. But there's certain things like when using the jetpack, the jetpack is pretty laggy and almost unusable. Um, and as support, healing people with syringes is pretty difficult with a lag as well. Now I don't know if the developers ever plan to introduce OC servers, but, but I wouldn't in good conscience recommend it to any of my friends until they do, or if the developers maybe like opened the door to community servers so we could just host it ourselves, that'd be awesome. Secondly, currently there is no way to keep the same party after the game's ended, so if you want to join up with randoms you probably have to look them up manually and try and add them and then try and convince them that you want to party up which that's just too much man i had a few games that were like really lively and like everyone was chatting everyone was having a really good time and that was i was having like a whole bunch of fun during those games but the second the game was over they were all gone and i joined a new game and nobody's talking and it's all just kind of bland yeah i'm not really looking for new friends to play the game with i just want like a continued experience with the same players rolling over a couple of games so um, a party up button would be fantastic for the game. This is just also a problem that could be solved by letting the community host servers in. Anyway, lastly and certainly not leastly, the only official servers thing. It kind of scratches that little part of my mind, especially when I play any early access game, let alone only early access multiplayer game, that this game has a death date. There is going to be a point where this game becomes unplayable, especially if it doesn't do well in the long haul. Like at the moment, it seems to be the game seems to be doing okay. The game hitting a 16k um, peak on Steam alone. If it stays like that, we'll have to see. It's too early to tell, I think. But too many times have I seen like multiplayer games abandoned or just flat out shut down, especially the ones that don't have any way for people now don't have any way for people to play them. Things like Knockout City or Rumble vs Spellbreak, these are all games that were multiplayer only and they're gone. They were killed this year alone. And they had, like EA was behind Knockout City, Epic was behind Rumbleverse and I don't know who was behind Spellbreak, but that was pretty popular for like early last year. So yeah, I'd like to see an end of service plan for this game, especially if it starts to not do well and I don't want to see the development abandoned, but if it is abandoned I want to be able to see people be able to play it. That's the silliest thing to me. Like, so would I recommend this game? And I'm very split on whether I would or not. I think the asking price for the amount of content in the game at the moment is a bit much, but if you have a group of friends that are willing to pay the price for a buggy yet really fun and honestly exhilarating experience, it's a blast. Now, if you're living in OCE region like I am, or really any other like small regions outside the EU or US, the game is playable and it's pretty fun, but I'd stay away for now. And I understand if developers don't want to open servers in smaller regions like ours, it's kind of doomed if you do, doomed if you don't kind of situation. You could be putting up, paying to put up servers that never get used and the player base could be so small that matchmaking queues are way too long. Because the only way to play this game is matchmaking or inviting a full party of your friends. Um, I've seen it before and I'm sure I'll see it again. Look, listen, this just could all be avoided if you let the community do it themselves. Like in Killing Floor, or even Wreckfest is a game that comes to mind, and that Wreckfest is a game that is absolutely unplayable on high latency, so... So, I don't have any reason to distrust Offworld Industries that they will abandon this game, but I just wish that they would um, just have some plans in place and let people know what those plans are in case, like, things go to shit. Because this is a fun game and I just don't want to see it, like, on a list on a fucking article next year that, like, it's dead and you can't play it anymore. Thanks for watching the video. Uh, like I said before, I've been experimenting with some new content and this is kind of a blend between my old and new and it'll probably be a while before I really get into the groove of it and how to pace everything. I was kind of inspired to try this kind of content after playing um, Redfall. I, I, that would have been like the pilot episode of what I'm doing here, but like the footage, it, the game ran so horribly on my PC and the footage is just like unwatchable. Uh, Redfall is a, just an absolutely fucking awful game and nobody should ever play it. Please give the video a like if you enjoyed the video and subscribe if you're new and you want to see more. There will be more. I've got another video like this planned and it should be out in a few days if it's not shit. 
Well, after that, I have another experiment video that I've kind of teased in the Discord. So, um, we'll see you soon. Goodbye.